Hello my fellow creators and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Yvette and I am part of the Kendra's Card Challenge design team. Today I'm going to play with some of these lovely Trinity Stamps goodies. Our super sponsor, Trinity Stamps, sent several of the design team members lots and lots of goodies from their latest release. So many in fact that those team members shared some of those goodies with other members of the team. Lynn of LV Handcrafted shared several goodies with me and these are just a few of them. I received several of the Trinity Stamps embellishments and they're just so pretty. I also received this beautiful stamp set. It's the Every Piece of Me stamp set and it has coordinating dies. I received the Great Greater Greatest stamp set and I love the sentiments on this one. For example, I'm ever so grateful. You're a great teacher. Oh, I like that one for day of the teacher. And this has coordinating dies as well. Then we have this cute little my one and gnomely stamp set. And those gnomes are adorable. And if you look, these little sentiments will fit inside the little balloon or even inside the little space between these two kissing gnomes. It also has coordinating dies. Lynn also sent me these two adorable stencils. This one is the cheesy background stencil and then the other one is the sprinkled border stencil. For today's card, I've decided to use the sprinkled border stencil to make my patterned paper. And then, since I just love the look of these two little gnomes, I'll use those for my focal point. Now, in case I haven't mentioned, I am going to be using card sketch number one. So as I make my card, let me tell you a little bit about Kendra's card challenge. Kendra's card challenge is a quarterly challenge open to card makers worldwide, in which you can make 15 cards using only six sheets of six by six pattern paper. Kendra does an amazing job of making an easy to follow sketch and cutting guide, which is free to download. You can enter to win some amazing prizes from our wonderful sponsors by simply entering a photo of your 15 cards in Kendra's Facebook group. You can enter three times each quarter. So for this quarter, you can enter one set in January, a second set in February, and a third set in March. That gives you three chances to win some great prizes. All the details on how to download the sketch and how to enter the challenge are linked in the description box below. I will also be sure to add links to the products I've used to make today's card. So this stencil has several rows of little dots that you can stencil through and this will make a beautiful border of confetti. But since I'm going to do this on a full card panel, I'll simply do some masking and then I'll just shift my stencil up so that I can add this pattern to the full card panel.
Now that I have my panel all stenciled, I'm going to just trim it down to four by five and a quarter inches, which is what is called for in the sketch. Then I will stamp that adorable little gnome image. And I'm going to stamp this image twice, just in case I make a boo-boo when I'm die cutting or coloring. So I'll go ahead and color and cut those off camera and I'll be right back. Alrighty, I think I have all the parts and pieces ready to put my card together. I did go ahead and color and die cut this cute little gnome image off camera. And I'm just gonna add a few finishing touches using my white gel pen. Now I'm deciding whether I should make the square a white square or a gold square. And I've decided to go ahead and use the white square but just do a little bit of ink blending on it with some of the pink that's left on my blending brush. Now I'll go ahead and add my peel-offs next, which I'm using in place of the quarter inch strips called for in the sketch. Next, I'm going to go ahead and place my panel in my Misty and bring in one of those tiny sentiments and place that in between the two little gnomes. I'll go ahead and attach my card panel to the matte layer, which is some gold glitter cardstock. Now the image isn't really attached quite yet. I just put a little bit of adhesive in one spot so that it would stay in place while I stamp the sentiment. So once I have my panel attached to my card base, I'll go ahead and finish attaching the little image onto the diamond. And then I thought I was done, but I realized, oh, I have a bunch of these adorable little embellishments from Trinity Stamps. Let me add some of those. So I went ahead and sprinkled embellishments throughout the card. And there you have my completed card using these wonderful goodies from our super sponsor, Trinity Stamps, as well as card sketch number one from Kendra's Card Challenge number 13. I hope you'll play along with Kendra's Card Challenge for more chances to win fabulous prizes. Thanks for sticking around to the end. I'd be thrilled if you subscribed to my YouTube channel or followed me on any of my other social media platforms. As always, have a beautiful, safe, and creative day. Thanks for watching. Bye.